Hey YouTube, so uh, I'm going to use my shop crane to pick this Monarch 14C by 30 lathe up and get it off the pallet it's sitting on. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to like my video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist about moving a Monarch lathe. Now, if you're curious about this crane, there's some videos on what I was thinking when I came up with the design and how I built it. Um, and there's a video of it lifting this lathe again when we put the pallet on it. So the basic, the basic idea is it's a couple of hydraulic cylinders from Harbor Freight, 30 bucks a piece on sale, and it's just some steel. Um, I did use a web-based engineering calculator to make sure that this beam was sufficient to hold, handle this load. This lathe weighs a little bit less than 4,900 pounds, and that's with the tooling that came with it, so it's probably in the 4,700 pound range. It's just really heavy. It can kill you if it falls on you, it breaks bones, it'll take off fingers. You need to be really careful when you lift something like this. That's why I'm doing it by myself, because I'm really careful. Okay, so all it takes is a pair of 2x4s underneath the ways in the right spot to lift this machine. Now, before the comment Nazis get excited, the beam is rated for a little over 9,000 pounds and the strap is rated for a little over 6,400 pounds. The D-ring and pair with hooks is rated for 10,000 pounds, so I'm working with really sturdy safety margins. Um, okay. And I'm gonna reposition this camera. That's a better view.
And at this point, I'm just going to take the slack out of it. It was about $600 to build this using new, new steel. It has 18 and a quarter inches of lift. taking the slack out at this point and the slack's basically out and at this point it's going to start to lift. And that's what we want. So we'll finish stretching it and taking the slack out. Hopefully we won't punch a hole in the floor. Guarantee you this whole length, this floor is not nearly nothing at this property is that strong. Alright, so at this point we're floating. Yeah, that's good. So what I'm going to do now is get my impact wrench and get this free. sitting. 
See, a little bit of flex on one side. So, I'm going to set it down. So, So next I'm going to do something that this crane was never designed to do. It was never, ever, ever intended to move under load. I'm going to do it anyway because I think, I think it'll handle it. So I've got some flex in this beam over here, which is really weird because it's not flexing on the other side. So at that point, I think we're, we're up. So, I think I can cheat. I know, I shouldn't really cheat, but I'm going to anyway. So, what I think happens here, so we put the tailstock down.
not quite the way I expected it to, but it's still moving. So it needs to come in and over. Hey, and all the nanny nanny safety poo poo people, yeah, it didn't blow up. Thanks. turns out to be easier than I expected it to be. Just pushing on the crane. Yeah, it ain't turning, that's for sure. I want it that way. So I have to set the wheels, but hey, you know that's a small price to pay for being able to push a lathe around by myself. Madness that was. Yeah, I think that was just punishment for um, not being.
Yeah, we got an interference issue down here. The wheel is too close to the skirt, so just gotta let the pressure off of it and move it over a little. like about the way this is set up. And I know there are a bunch of different ways this could have been done, but this is the way I did it and it works really well. It was explicitly designed for this particular type of maneuver in this building. So I gotta slide the tailstock back in order to balance. Really? So when you're pushing a load like this, even a stupid screw is gonna stop the crane. stuff out from behind it first. So I'm letting it down on this side because I want to land this side. I don't want it to... If I lowered it, it would swing out. So by lowering that side first, I grounded that end. not perfect. It needs to go over another couple feet, but it's pretty close to where I want it. So I'm really, really, really happy with this maneuver. The crane has performed well beyond my expectations. It's, it's doing everything that I ever intended it to do when I thought I'd build it. And um, it has made the impossible possible, because there's no way I can move this by myself. A pinch bar would have been a nightmare. It wouldn't have taken 15 or 20 minutes. So. Um, at this point, I've got a little bit of rearranging to do in my shop because I had to kind of juggle stuff. Um, 
I don't think I'm going to take the crane out. I think I'm actually just going to turn it and kind of tuck it up in here. And the reason is, I know I'm not done with it. I just know that I'm not done with it. So, that's far from perfect, but it's okay. So I think I'm going to stop the video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the, my video and please subscribe to my channel.